Okay, but today's vet didn't. And you yeah. and uh, about how much did you spend today's vet visit? I didn't pay the bills in my car. I don't. I don't know the bill you don't even know the bill amount? No, I just haven't put it on my credit card. Okay. All right. So you know, I didn't pay. I didn't pay. It's probably about. Well, so mom said she was going to go home and do that. And I said, no, I don't want you doing that. And now that you've seen a vet and, you, and all that, come back in so I can take care of it. But I personally think that if I was your veterinarian, that I would have just taken care of it for you right then and there. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm seeing, like, this is yellow to me. That mm -hmm. stuff right there is yellow to me. It's not white. Uh, it's very much yellow. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, the stuff in her ear is yellow. But to me, that ear, yes, it, but I was talking about the stuff in her eyes. Mm -hmm. And her ear, yeah, that's yellow. But to me, it looks like earwax. I used to buy earwax cleaner or whatever for them to clean the inside of her ears. I didn't last very long. <laughs> uh, honey, be still, baby girl. And do you keep a card on them? Mm hmm. Because the next time I yep. want you to go up one more length on her. Kind of okay, so you did say very short yeah. summer cut yeah. yesterday, and I actually didn't go the shortest we could have gone, so yeah. I'm glad you're saying something. Yeah, but well, I went with exactly what you said. Yeah, yeah, I always get them short, but it won't, but, but it's always, for some reason, it's a little longer than this. I couldn't take the kill baby. So this one's even worse. But to me, it's just me and David both, and I just told him a lot of people, I hear it all the time, my vet won't do the ear hair. Look at this, this is completely yellow in here. This is worse than the other one, where the vet can now see there's some issues here. Well, there is an issue. The here. last room I took her to didn't do her ears like they're supposed to come back. I want you to know that's not the case here. Yeah. We purposely did not do her ears because this stuff is in her ear, and a veterinarian, if I cleaned this yesterday, the veterinarian would not have seen it. They would have been like, oh, the ears look fine. Well, yeah, because they're completely cleaned out. A few months ago now, my brother, he lives in a and I house in front of my apartment. Okay. And he smokes. Okay. I got, smell no, cigarette smoke. They, on uh, here and on someone's clothing here or some. Well, I smell cigarette I smoke. I used to be a smoker. It could be okay. on my clothes. But it could the be. Cigarette on smoke will cause issues. I have a cigarette, a, a very full-time smoker clients, mm -hmm. and their their dogs' coats are all different. Mm -hmm. yeah, my so brother, if there's smoke involved in the household, that would definitely play a role as well. Yeah. Well, like I said, my brother smokes like a freight train. We both have doggy doors. Hold here. Hold the head here. We both have doggy doors, and they go back and forth, mm -hmm. and they'll go and stay at his house for hours at a time. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm you know so what sorry. I mean? Mm hmm But he's 72, and he gets lonely, and I share my dog with him. Okay. But don't discount that as not having issues, because it's just like it does with humans. It does change our skin and our... Our system. Well, see, I had her for probably seven or eight years, and I was smoking so I quit, and I've never had this skin problem. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, I it's personally just, think it's a chicken, but um, that's just my opinion. Quick, baby. Oh, God. Stop. She's Stop. impossible to hold still. No, it's she's actually strong. probably, this is she's, actually pretty. Uh, she's strong. Uh, this is probably pretty painful. Oh, poor baby. Yes, you are. You're a good girl. Yes, let's look at this. You're a good baby girl. Yes, you are. Gosh, I'm having hot flashes. Just, you know, behind me and stuff, right? I'm so sorry, buddy. Let's get this out of there. So this is a uh, ear hair, but there's an ear infection going on, and it's yellow, which is my opinion. Oh my goodness, look at that. Um, it's allergies, and the body's just eating some. The, the dog is eating something that's causing allergy reaction. Without pulling ear hair, it just holds on to the debris and makes it worse. David's on the camera, and he even said it stinks, right? Stinks? <laughs> yes. You can smell an ear infection. So no, no. So I'm going to put this over here for a minute while I continue to make sure I got all the ear hair pulled out before I clean it. 
Okay, okay. Hair sticks to hair, so he's still got a bath. I can move faster if I just move that hair and put it right here. And that way I can just get in and out. So I'm just gonna put that there. It's dirty, but I need to bathe them so it doesn't matter. Oh. Do just a little bit of cleaning here with my hemostats. It's tickling. Uh -uh, uh -uh. No, 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 no. It's cold and I'm sure it's, it's stinging because they're, they're pretty infected a little bit. So, and all that stuff needed to come out, right? So let me see if there's any more. There's some crevices in there. You go front and back. Look at all that. All right. The solution's kind of cool. So the cool and the stinging probably. Just want to clean it out like that so it can breathe. And then uh, here at the salon, we would use this. Malacetic otic as an ear flush. I'm just going to trickle some in there. This is before the bath. This will help the infection that's down the ear canal. Just, you know, behind me and stuff, right? I'm so sorry, buddy. Let's get this out of there. So this is uh, ear hair, but there's an ear infection going on, and it's yellow, which is my opinion. Oh my goodness, look at that. Um, it's allergies and the body's just eating some, the, the dog is eating something that's causing allergy reaction and it's spitting it out in the ears. So we're cleaning it out. It is painful. Ear hair needs to be pulled on these dogs because as you can see, without pulling ear hair, it just holds on to the debris and makes it worse. David's on the camera and he even said it stinks, right? Stinks? <laughs> yes. You can smell an ear infection, so no, no. So I'm gonna put this over here for a minute while I continue to make sure I got all the ear hair pulled out before I clean it. Okay, okay. Hair sticks to hair, so he's still got a bath. I can move faster if I just move that hair and put it right here. And that way I can just get in and out. So I'm just gonna put that there. It's dirty, but I need to bathe them so it doesn't matter. Oh. Cleaning here with my hemostats. It's tickling. Uh -uh, uh -uh. No, 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 no. It's cold, and I'm sure it's it's stinging because they're they're pretty infected a little bit. So, and all that stuff needed to come out, right? So let me see if there's any more. There's some crevices in there. You go front and back. Look at all that. I just, the solution's kind of cool, so the cool and the stinging probably. Just want to clean it out like that so it can breathe. And then uh, here at the salon, we would use this Malacetic Otic as an ear flush. I'm just going to trickle some in there. This is before the bath. This will help the infection that's down. It's really important to know. So we, oh, I already came back with my 10 here. 10 down, 10 all the way out, cleaned it up even more, cleaned it up on the outside. Now I'm going to pluck all this, okay? The 10 will clean it up, but you see how short this 40 is? Because her her ears are so hairy. So if you have a really hairy ear, that's where the 40, not, I don't, maybe one out of 150, I'll do a 40 blade in the ears. Because not every dog has that much hair in there, okay? But now we've got it nice and to the skin here. It's nice and soft and she, it'll actually be able to breathe in there once we get done. All right, just want to kind of be clear on... Uh, why we used a 40 in her case because not all dogs have that much ear hair but she has a lot of ear hair all right all right so this is kind of what we took out on the ear plucking side this is our ear cleaner pad our hemostats this is both ears uh most of the ear hair from her ears and so you want the ear canal to be pretty cleaned out look at that how awesome that looks that way the ears can breathe otherwise there's just debris that's going to sit in there so little hair here and there is okay but what's in the ear canal coming out you want that pulled out okay so make sure they're nice and clean and in that big difference we've already cleaned them and everything you can see inside the hole now that's awesome and then uh, on the hemostats we do a non-locking hemostat 